The silent majority has at long last an opportunity to vent. They have seized on the SNC-Lavalin scandal, not because they care anything about the scandal itself, but because they have found a way in which to air their grievances. Grievances that have been simmering since the 2015 election. Up until the SNC-Lavalin story broke, it was uncool to voice any displeasure with the Prime Minister lest one be branded as racist, a bigot, or any kind of phobic, you name it. The repercussions were immediate and severe. For anyone daring to speak truth to power about the golden boy and his diverse and gender-balanced cabinet. But now, now there is a taint on the sunny ways feminist-in-chief that even his staunchest supporters have trouble defending. Now, if you've been following many of the YouTube channels that us conservative folks subscribe to, it will not come as a surprise to you that the latest scandal may well prove to be the shiny pony's undoing. The absolute visceral hatred of this PM surpasses anything I have ever experienced as a citizen of this country over many successive governments. Some leaders you liked, others you thought of as pretty good, and the odd few were mostly just yawn fests, which informed voters ousted at the polls when the next election came around. But this liberal government, led by an arrogant, immature, and unqualified man whose only claim to fame is his last name, has produced a reaction, let's call it Trudeau derangement syndrome, unheard of up until now in Canadian politics. It makes one understand why so many Americans hate Donald Trump as much as they do. He is so out of line with their view of the world that they cannot accept that there are many who voted and would again vote for him. Why? Because they approved of what he's doing for their country. Because he is in sync with their values. North of the border here, there are many, many Trudeau haters. One has only to watch some of the alternative news media to sense this. It is that palpable. And now it is bubbling over. And the silent majority are able to vent. And it feels good. In fact, it feels great. So hang on to your hats, people. If ever there was a time for revolt, it's now.